I had a report here from Lodge, a weekly report. I want it right quick. I can't find it. Yes, sir. Mr. President, Ambassador Goldberg on Unworm. You see this Frederick story on NBC? Frederick story on NBC. Pauline Frederick. Well, on Brinkley, Huntley Brinkley. She says that uh, uh, she was uh, told by the Russian... Uh, press out of shit at the United Nations all week. He's been very friendly and sucking up to her. And she was told that if we would stop bombing, that uh, they could uh, sit down and talk. And they asked me what about it. And I said, uh, I didn't say anything for the record. But I just told them, well, if we're going to stop bombing, what are they going to stop? Are they going to stop going down the Ho Chi Minh Trail? Are they going to stop dropping their hand grenades and denying and killing our Marines? Are they going to stop mortar fire on our uh, air bases? We sure, if they stop, we stop. The moment they do. Yeah. But uh, Russia told me before that if we'd stop bombing, why, 37 days, why, they said 12 days, they thought they could do something. And uh, I stopped 37. But uh, they used NBC pretty well tonight, and a pretty effective propaganda, and our State Department had no comment. And I told them to tell George Ball, and I think I'll tell you, but I think you ought to tell Pauline Frederick, now this is very wonderful, that's good. But let's, let's dissect this thing, let's look at it. Uh, you got Jack Dempsey and Jess Willard in the fight, and you ask Jack Dempsey not to hit anymore. Now is Willard not going to hit, or are you going to let him stand up there and punch hell out of him? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's even worse than that. A little press out there, doesn't talk with any responsibility. Well, I know it, but it, uh, they, they, they cover 35 million people. Yeah. But I mean, to pick up a story from the press answer, That's right. So you have said, and we have said repeatedly, that the bombing is not an affirmative act. It is in retaliation or other aggression. And you have made a statement that you are ready to stop everything if they are ready to negotiate a mutual ceasefire. <laughs> that's right. That's if the they'll point. stop, we that's stop. The point. Yeah, we but we're not going to stop yeah. and let them keep coming down that trail. We want a mutual ceasefire. Now, the truth of business is, Arthur, they're hurting a little bit, yeah. as you know uh, yeah. from the past and the B-52s and, uh, and the power plant that we hit the other night. And uh, they're a little trouble, and, uh, and they're squealing awfully loud, and they're going to be squealing louder. But we, I don't think we ought to let the pr impression get out over the country that they have made a legitimate offer no, if we we'll stop. So I wish you would see what she says and get to her right quick and say, say now please point out that they have no proposal at all. They just uh, suppose. Yes, but it's a full on on break. Okay, Pat. Can I take a moment? With yeah. You? yeah. You got a, you'll get a wire from me. You got a proposal from Lodge start bombing Cambodia. And I think that would be a great mistake. 
Uh, well, we're not going to stop. No, we're not going to stop. I knew you would. I'm trying to get somebody. I'm trying to get somebody into Cambodia to talk to them right yeah. now. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Well, I tell you what I like though. I wish you'd draft me a one-page memo. Yeah. On your plan, plan for uh, uh, Africa, what you think we ought to be sure doing. I have it under preparation right now. And if you could ever get any ideas out of any of your Arabs. Yeah. Uh, I would like to have some new initiatives for Arabs and for Jews. Uh, I, I'd like to find something that we could do for them yeah. that would uh, would show them we don't hate them, so we'd be permitted to do more for Israel. Right. And uh, right. I think if we just sit back, all we do is wait till we get punched by well, Jordan, and then we... Feeling we ought to take the initiative a little. Bill Douglas then bragging on you last night that he wants to go to China. I told him, go on. We're not afraid of anybody to go anywhere. He said he's not going to represent anybody. I said, hell, I invited all their scientists to come over here. And, uh, I'm not objecting to it. Sure. But I wish you'd draft me a one-page memo. And don't send it to anybody else. Just let me get it so I won't uh, be making you run uh, somebody else's business. And right. then I'll tell uh, Joe Palmer to get me up a program. Right. I'll send it right to you. Okay. Are you waiting?